Obama announces change in hostage policy. President Barack Obama announced Wednesday that the government will no longer threaten to criminally prosecute families of American hostages who pay ransom to get loved ones back from such groups as ISISJUST1 of several policy changes following a multi-month examination of how the government operates in situations when Americans abroad are being held hostage by terrorist organizations. The families have told us and told me directly about their frequent frustrations in dealing with their own government, the president said on Wednesday, adding that's totally unacceptable. The president's announcement is part of the administration's recognition that the U.S. government's policy in dealing with captives wasn't working as well as it could and that the government could be a bit clearer in giving information to the family members of Americans who have been kidnapped. Obama's tenure has seen an increase in high-profile kidnappings and beheadings by ISIS, and as the president underscored in his remarks, his role is to both consider national security as well as the needs and concerns of captives and their families. As president, I have to consider national SECURITYRANSOM risks endangering more Americans and funding terrorism we are trying to stop. The president also underscored that the administration still believes in a no-concessions policy in dealing with terrorists, but makes clear for the first time that no-concessions does not mean no communication. The U.S. government may itself communicate with hostage takers, their intermediaries, interested governments, and local communities to attempt to secure the safe recovery of the hostage, according to a statement from the White House. The U.S. government may also assist private efforts to communicate with hostage takers to secure the safe recovery of a hostage, whether directly or through public or private intermediaries. These efforts will be focused on ensuring the safety and security of a family to prevent them from being defrauded or further victimized by a hostage taker. In short, we will not abandon families in their greatest time of need. There are risks with the new approach, foreign policy experts said. The U.S. has for decades had a policy of not formally negotiating with terror groups or paying ransoms out of a fear that would just encourage them to grab more American hostages, said Yachi Dreesen, managing editor of Foreign Policy. That's a real risk for this new policy as well. The calculus the White House is probably making is that groups like the Islamic State are already super motivated to nag Americans, so trying to make it easier to get them back outweighs the slim chance the group would somehow become even more anxious to grab more.